What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, you guys sent this to me. A few of you guys sent this to me on Instagram and on Twitter about uh, Edge's latest um, video talking about him uh, being in the uh, World Heavyweight Championship Tournament on the SmackDown side of things. And uh, I wanted to definitely check this out with you guys. I uh, appreciate everyone that sent this to me, man. We're going to see what the rated r superstar has to say and and his chances what he feels like could possibly happen on the smackdown side of things for this world heavyweight championship tournament let's get right into this man hey everybody so uh this isn't some kind of mapped out wrestling promo or anything i'm sitting in what is my second home a wrestling ring uh trying to get him some reps before smackdown tomorrow night where i face Rey mysterio and aj can we just talk about the hardy boys uh flag in the back that's awesome bro that's that's awesome man styles and i can't say enough about those guys i know aj and i have had our differences in the past mm. uh, and you know the history with me and ray ray yeah um, <laughs> those two guys are the reason a lot of people are are in our industry and i expect to have one hell of a match i also expect to win it i have to mm. you know some people have been running around saying they they're going to finish their stories right and, and good for mm. them but it made me think a little bit about my story. The introduction of the WWE Heavyweight Championship, if I look at that thing, it even looks like the title that I never lost. Looks like... Ah, uh, I'm getting goosebumps. Yes, it's the title he never lost. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps. Uh, if that didn't give you goosebumps, I don't know what, I don't know what will, man. Ah, uh, like, I'm, I'm glad he brought that up. The title he never lost. He had to relinquish. Big gold. 12 years ago, I was forced to give that thing up. Yeah. Never had a chance to get it back. Now I have a chance. Mm. And it all comes full circle. Mm. Now this ride, it's going to end sooner than later. Let's face it. We all know that. And I got to get this done. It's the last thing to do. It's the last. It's the period on the end of the sentence, right? It's the yeah. last sentence in the book. I got to get that stuff out of the basement. And um, I just got to do it. Oh. You know, all of you that are watching this, I assume you've been with me on this ride. Oh, for sure. And I really appreciate it. Um, it's going to end soon. And I got to get it right this time. And there's no better way to finish it than to win the World Heavyweight Championship. And I'm with you. And when I lose it, that's it. I'm done. So, Ray, AJ, bring your best tomorrow. I know you will. I can't wait to see you in there, to be honest. Ah. Oh. Tear it up. Oh, man. I can't wait to that match tomorrow. I'm filming this on uh, Thursday, man. I, man, that wasn't even like a, a traditional promo. Sign me up. I'm for it. I'm for it. The title he never lost. I am for it. I know a lot of people are, you know, speculating that Seth will win. And I think that is the obvious choice. I think Seth does deserve it. But, but I do think having Edge win it would be something. I Man. His last ride, you know, last, you know, last run in the sun, as they would say, I'm for it. The title he never lost. It's, you know, it reminds him of Big Goldie. He never lost it. He had to relinquish it. And honestly, I know some people were saying maybe AJ Styles. And I, I think AJ Styles would be a good choice as well. But Edge versus Seth Rollins, they have history. They have history. They, they, you know, they have their beef, you know, uh, of course it, it ended a while ago, but there's still that history there. I'm for it. I am so for it. I am. The reports and the rumors are saying that this is edge last year. If, if it's me, I, I book him to win it. I book edge to win it. If there's anybody that can instantly bring prestige to that title of course people will say it's the second place title i get it i get it i get it i understand wwe kind of booked themselves in this situation so i get 
why some people would say this is the second place title but for me personally i think that would be something to complete his story you know we're all talking about people finishing their story edge regaining the title a new version of it that he never lost he had to relinquish it and for him to maybe feud with somebody later down the line maybe seth rollins or for him to feud with somebody else somebody fresh and lose it maybe at SummerSlam or or whenever he may end up losing it i'm all for it me personally i wouldn't trip i wouldn't trip if it's seth rollins but i also wouldn't trip if it's edge those are my two well obviously seth rollins is gonna be uh you know in the main you know uh, fighting for it. he's one of the finalists but i wouldn't i i if they set that match up edge versus seth rollins once again in saudi and i think the story would be even better because it comes full circle again the last time they had uh i want to say um uh, one of their matches was in saudi in hell in itself you guys remember that crown jewel that was a few years ago fantastic match full circle now we're trying to see who's going to become the new world heavyweight champion and is these two guys again years later going at it it writes itself it legitimately writes itself i know edge would be uh not edge aj would be a good competitor for seth but i just think because we know edge is probably going to probably hang up the boots this year at some point i think the perfect story is to have these guys go at it one more time but this time for the world heavyweight championship and have edge win have him win have him go on that farewell tour because i don't think anyone would trip over it and maybe you have seth rollins beat him at a later time maybe SummerSlam, maybe sometime later after that i don't know or you know maybe somebody else beats him i don't know but honestly in my opinion i would be okay if edge won wins tomorrow and then he goes on to face Seth Rollins and they just tear it down at Night of Champions. I, I'm okay with it. I am okay with it. Oh, man. Edge is so good. He doesn't even have to cut a promo. He can just literally talk in the camera and it comes off like a promo. It's, it's great, man. So comment down below. Let me know how do you guys feel about Edge winning tomorrow to advance to the finals. Um... Uh, to the uh to night of champions to face seth rollins or would you prefer aj styles or would you prefer anybody else that's in the in that tournament for smackdown and how would you guys honestly feel if edge was become was able to become the new world heavyweight champion the championship that he never ever lost would you guys be okay with that let me know down below man but i appreciate all love and support you guys are showing on the channel road to 150k and i'm still the undisputed youtube wrestling champion of the world appreciate you kicking the me see you on the next one peace